Hello all. Welcome to Mobile Apps Academy. In this tutorial series, we will be exploring how to develop a to-do app using clean architecture and a VVM design pattern in SwiftUI. If you'd like to access the source code for this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel, take a screenshot and send it to the email provided in the description. We will send you the source code. This is the fifth part of this tutorial series. The first four parts are available on the channel. Make sure to check them out. In the last video, we have completed the header part. In upcoming videos, we will develop the task list. Today, we will be developing the task list manager. So let's get started. Create a Swift file and name it as task. Inside this, import the Swift UI. We need a task model. So create a struct and name it as task. We are inheriting this struct from codable, hashable, and identifiable. We need a ID, a title date and a boolean to check if the task is completed or not. Create an initializer for this model. Set the UVU ID like this. Perfect, we are done with the task model. Let's create one more file for task list manager. Inherit it from observable object. As we are going to observe the changes to this object. We need a task array to hold the task. Mark it as published to observe the changes. We need a method to refresh the task list. Inside this method, we are first converting the task to a JSON format using a JSON encoder. Once it is converted to JSON, then we are using this to store into the user defaults. We need a method to get the task list from the user defaults, which returns an array of tasks. First, we retrieve the data from the user defaults. Then we decode this data using a JSON decoder because we have encoded this using the JSON encoder. In any case, if we fail to do so, we return an empty error. Inside the init, we initialize the item. Next, we are creating a method to update the task list. This method takes the task as the parameter. Inside this, we append the pass a task value to the list. Then, refresh the task list. This will store the updated list in the user defaults. Similarly, we have a function to delete the task. This also takes a task parameter which we are going to delete. First, I am finding the index of the element which is passed inside the items. Using this index, I am removing the tasks from the list. And at the end, I am refreshing the task list. This will update the list in the user defaults. Perfect. Now we have one last function to add, that is toggling the task completion. Similarly, we will find the index of the passed element. Using this index, I am updating the is completed boolean, like this. And at the end, I am refreshing the task list. But we are done with the task list manager. In the next video, we will be using this manager to create the UI. See you there. Until then, happy coding. Thank you for watching.